Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to see the concept of checksum transformation. Now what is checksum transformation? It is a third party component, there is a non Microsoft component, which can be used for incrementally loading data into our SQL Server database from a non Microsoft database. That is, we can use this component for our ETL operations to load the incremental data if the data is lying in other database which is not SQL Server like Oracle or any other database. So we can take data from such non Microsoft database that is non SQL Server database and we can load the data incrementally in our SQL Server using checksum transformation. So let us first of all see from where to download it. This is the website from where it can be downloaded. This is the checksum transformation. Let us click it. Now you can download based on your version. I have selected 2014 as I am currently using SQL Server 2014. So that's why I have selected this version. So now after downloading you need to install this component. Once you install the component it will appear in your Visual Studio ID. So let us go, go to our package and let us add a data flow task. Let us edit it. Now over here we can see the checksum component which we have installed. So now let us add the checksum component to our package. Now first of all we need to read data from the source table. In our case we will use the checksum transformation component for SQL Server to SQL Server data loading. That is our source table is lying in SQL Server and we will create our destination table also in SQL Server. So this is our source table and as you can see right now there are 9 records in it. So let us add a OADP source to read the data. table that we will use as source table is employee details table. Let us connect this source to our checksum transformation. Now checksum transformation will add an extra column to our set of columns that we provide to it. Let us double click it. So these are the four columns which have come to the checksum transformation. Now it will add its own column. This column will have the value of the calculated checksum. So let us call this as source checksum. Okay. Now we need to provide the output from the checksum transformation to lookup transformation. In lookup transformation, this time we will use no cache option. Now, we want the non matching rows to be output explicitly as non matching rows. We don't want the component to fail. In connection, let us connect our lookup transformation to our destination employees table. This is the table where our rows will be stored from the source we will store the rows into this particular destination table. Now lookup transformation will map data from source into destination using employee ID column and it will output the current checksum which is lying in the destination table. So Using this value, we can know whether the row is a new row or whether the row is an updated row or whether the row is exactly same as it was loaded earlier, which does not require any change. Now, let us call this as destination checksum because this checksum value is coming from our destination table. 
now checksum is configured which means from the source table all columns are present plus one column is present from the destination table now our lookup transformation will output two kinds of data first the non matching rows that is the rows which are present only in source table but they are not present in other in the destination table and the second output will be for the matching records that is the record which are there in source as well as destination table for which the checksum value from the destination table will also be output so we need to provide the data from lookup transformation into two different components so let us first of all put a conditional split and let us put oledb destination component now the data which is present only in source and not present in destination that is the non matching records are actually new records which should be inserted into the destination so let us provide the non matching the no match output that is new records to the oledb destination Using this OLEDB destination, we are inserting the new records into our destination table. Now, the records which were having a match in the destination table, these records can either be updated records or they may be exactly same as the earlier records. If they are exactly same as the earlier records, then the checksum values will match each other. And if they are updated records, the checksum values will differ. So we are interested in only updating the records in our destination table for which the checksum values are differing. So let us configure the same over here. Let us name this as updates records. How do we determine whether they require update or not? That is when the source checksum is not equal to the destination checksum. Then definitely those records require an update. Let us provide a name to the default output that is matching records which do not require any changes from our end. Okay, so let us click save. So we have configured the conditional split. Now let us take a OLEDB command object. Using this we will update the record which require updations. So we will provide updates record to it. Let us provide it a connection. So let us carefully observe the update statement. Update the destination table. Set employee name, country, check some value where employee ID is the current employee ID. So these are four parameters. Now, we know that the last parameter was employee ID. So let us map it to parameter 3. The first parameter was employee name. The second was country. And the third parameter was checksum value. Click OK. So now, the records for which checksums are not matching, they will be updated in the database. Let us save. And let us run our package. Let us again verify. Lookup transformation. So it is correct. So let us save and run our package. So as you can see, currently there are no records in our destination table. So all nine records were inserted using OLEDB destination into our destination table. So let us run our package. 
let us observe the same in our uh, let us go to database now over here now there are nine records in our destination table now let us do some modifications in the existing records and let us insert few more records for this let us insert three more records so now the current records were having id values from 1 to 9 so we are inserting 10 11 and 12 three records and also let us modify the country column for the first three records having id value 1 2 and 3 so currently the values are india pakistan and usa for the first three records we are going to change it to ind for the first three records so now this is also these changes have also happened now let us run this checksum transformation again this time 12 rows were read from the source because three new rows are present out of which the three new rows are inserted into the destination table using goldedp destination and nine out of the nine rows there were only three rows which had some updates so those three rows have been updated in our destination table using goldedp command also so it has worked exactly in the same way as we had expected it to work let us close it and now let us finally see the changes in our destination table This is our destination table. Now we can see that these three records have been newly inserted and the first, second and third record, the country column value has been changed in our destination table. So I hope you find this tutorial useful for checksum transformation. Thank you.